गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शफी फ्रॉम डनबास्को पी यू कॉलेज चित्रदुर्गा इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट एंड आल्सो वी हैव बीन लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिटरमिनेंट आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द डिटरमिनेंट कॉन्सेप्ट हियर वी हैव द स्केलर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट determinant method here also we are going to use in scalar triple product first of all what is mean by scalar triple product scalar triple triple product is the one important for your point of examination as well as for your cet purpose okay it is the one which is a miscellaneous topic in your ncert textbook okay first of all what is mean by scalar triple product you just observe in our previous classes we have taken only two vectors that is what cross product of two vectors dot product of two vectors like that we have taken here we have triple triple is nothing but what 3 okay triple is nothing but 3 3 here we are going to take three vectors let let a b and c b any three vectors let a b and c b any three vectors then the scalar product of then the scalar product of a and b cross c is called is is a dot a dot b cross c is called scalar triple product is called scalar scalar triple product once again let a b and c be any three vectors then the scalar product of a and b cross c is a dot b cross c is called scalar triple product and it is denoted by a b c and it is denoted by a b c or a b c right it is scalar triple product and a b c equals to equals to here we have a a dot next b c that is b cross c okay hence it is called scalar triple product once again let a b and c be any three vectors then the scalar product of a vector and b cross c is a dot b cross c is called scalar triple product it is denoted by in between the square brackets that is a b c or a b c okay a b c which is equals to a dot b cross c according to this according to this i want according to this x vector y vector and z vector how you are going to write this one how you are going to define this x dot x dot y cross j that is y vector cross z vector okay hence it is scalar triple product don't be confused okay once again i will repeat this one kindly note down in your notebook without making any kind of mistakes let a vector b vector and c vector be any three vectors then the scalar product of a and b cross c is a dot b cross c is called scalar triple product and it is denoted by a b c or a b c and a b c equals to a dot b cross c based on this we have some note points which is important to solve the problems based on scalar triple product we know that we know that in the dot product the dot product of two vectors is a scalar or a vector the dot product of two vectors is a scalar or a vector which is a scalar okay which is a scalar now the cross product of two vectors is a scalar or a vector it is a vector it is a dot product and it is a cross product 
now what about in scalar triple product in scalar triple product that is a dot b cross c is this a scalar or a vector kindly think you just think it a dot b is a scalar a cross b is a vector then what about a dot b cross c is this a scalar or a vector a dot b cross c is a scalar a dot b cross c is a scalar that means if we find the scalar triple product of three vectors then we get a scalar quantity or a real number we will get okay next one next point cyclic permutation cyclic permutation cyclic permutation of three vectors cyclic permutation of three vectors does not change the value of the scalar triple product cyclic permutation of three vectors does not change the value of the scalar triple product like how here we have the vector a and it is a vector b and it is a vector c cyclic permutation cyclic permutation in place of a b in place of b c in place of c a cyclic permutation here we have a b c that is equals to in place of a b a c here we have a here we have a in place of a b in place of b c in place of b that is c in place of c a right similarly in place of b in place of b c in place of c what a in place of a b cyclic permutation of three vectors does not change the value of the scalar triple product hence it is cyclic permutation okay in place of a first we have the scalar triple product a b c in place of a b in place of b c in place of c a again a b c next b c a next c a b hence a b c is also can be written as b c a or c a b okay next point r r a dot a dot b cross c equals to a dot b cross c equals to b b dot c cross a which is equals to c c dot a cross b okay hence it is hence cyclic permutation of three vectors does not change the value of the scalar triple product next point in scalar triple product in scalar triple product the dot and cross can be interchanged can be interchanged in scalar triple product the dot and cross can be interchanged like how we have a dot b cross c equals to here we have a dot b cross c equals to according to this dot and cross can be interchanged dot and cross can be interchanged a dot b cross c here i am interchanging dot and cross a here we have dot this i am going to interchange like a cross b a cross b here we have cross product that is dot c according to this condition the dot and cross can be interchanged a dot b cross c equals to a cross b dot c okay hence it is hence it is scalar triple product and also we have some more note points kindly note down next point if we change any two vectors if we change any two vectors in the scalar triple product if we change any if we change any two vectors in the scalar triple product then the sign of then the sign of scalar triple product changes here we have a b c 
here we have a b c scalar triple product of three vectors a b c if we change any two vectors if we change any two vectors then the sign of that is scalar triple product changes here i am going to interchange these two vectors in place of a b in place of b a i am going to write i mean what i am interchanging this then sign of that uh, scalar triple product uh, changes in place of a i am going to write uh, b vector in place of a i am going to write uh, in place of a i am going to write uh, sorry in place of b i am going to write a vector c okay once again if we change any two vectors in the scalar triple product uh, then the sign of then the sign of scalar triple product changes okay you can change any one you can change if you change anything here you can change here here already we have minus negative sign i'm going to change i'm going to change in place of a c in place of c a then already we have minus i'm interchanging these two vectors then the sign of that then the sign of that scalar triple product changes plus we will get okay b vector b vector in place of a c vector in place of uh, in place of uh, c a vector like this okay this this point is very similar to this one this point is very similar to this one uh, kindly do not confuse cyclic permutation of any three vectors okay cyclic permutation of any three vectors does not change the value of the scalar triple product okay here if we change any two vectors if we change any two vectors in the scalar triple product then that sign changes that sign changes if you just observe here we have a b c then finally we get uh, b c a if you just see a b c b c a both are equal okay kindly do not confuse if we change any three if we apply cyclic permutation in the scalar triple product then 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 the value of that so then the value of that scalar triple product does not changes if we change any two vectors in the scalar triple product then that sign changes if we change any if we change three that value does not change if we change Two, then sign will changes okay kindly keep it in your mind these two points are very similar okay the next point the next point very simple one the next point is very simple if the two vectors are same if the two vectors if the two vectors are same if the two vectors are same then if the two vectors are same in the scalar triple product then the value of the scalar triple product is zero if you just see here we have the vector a here we have the vector b here we have the vector a then what about the value of this two vectors are same in the scalar triple product then that value is zero understood here we have the vector a here also we have the vector a if we have if the two vectors are same in the scalar triple product then the value of that uh, scalar triple product is zero now one more here we have the vector p next vector q vector p then 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 what about this value is zero here we have the vector p here we have the vector p if we have two vectors are same in the scalar triple product then that value is zero okay understand are you clear next point next point three vectors sorry here we have um, a if a vector equals to a1 i cap 
plus e2 j cap plus a3 k cap next b vector equals to b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap next one more vector c vector equals to c1 i cap plus c2 j cap plus c3 k cap then how to find then how to find a dot b cross c that is scalar triple product it is very simple to find the scalar triple product here we have the vector a here we have the vector b here we have the vector c okay how to find the scalar triple product here we are going to use here we are going to use determinant method this one already i explained in the cross product okay here we are going to use the determinant method to find the scalar triple product uh, we have two methods first we have to find the cross product of b cross c then we have to apply dot product how to find the dot product of uh, sorry uh, scalar triple product of three vectors here we are going to use the determinant method here we are going to use the determinant method but to find but to find scalar triple product we have two methods okay for to find scalar triple product we have two methods the best method is the determinant method the best method is the determinant method you just observe here we have b cross c first we have to find the cross product of b and c then we have to apply dot product of a and b cross c right that method is very lengthy compared to that method this method is very simple a dot b cross c a first we have a a vector write down the scalar components of a vector scalar components a1 a2 a3 so a1 a2 a3 next here we have the vector b write down the scalar components of b vector b1 b2 b3 b1 b2 b3 next here we have the vector c write down the scalar components of the vector c vector c1 c2 c3 c1 c2 c3 okay if we find the determinant value of this one that is the value is the scalar product sorry that is scalar triple product of these three vectors okay plus minus plus this procedure i will clearly explain in the problems itself okay don't be confused here we are going to use the determinant method right the next one next point that is the last point that is the last point next point three vectors three vectors three vectors are said to be coplanar that is a vector b vector and c vector are coplanar three vectors a b and c are coplanar then then sorry if and only if if and only if the scalar triple product that is a dot b cross c is zero three vectors a uh, a b and c are coplanar then if and only if a dot b cross c is zero that means the scalar triple product the uh, scalar triple product of a b and c is zero or or a b c equals to zero right this point is very important you kindly you kindly mark it as a important point right once again a b and c are said to be coplanar if and only if a dot b cross c is zero right 
if a if a dot b cross c is not equal to zero then then a b c are not coplanar if we if it is said to be coplanar then only that value should be zero that means the scalar triple product value should be zero hence these are the points hence these are the points these are the points important to solve the problems based on scalar triple product i will just revise once again you just kindly note down in your notebook without making any kind of mistakes kindly note down if you know these note points then only you find very easy to solve the problems based on scalar triple product if you don't know these points you find very difficult to solve the problems these points plays a major role to solve the problems okay let a b and c let a b and c be any three vectors then the scalar triple product a then the scalar product of a and b cross c is a dot b cross c is called scalar triple product these things already in the starting itself i have explained we know that a dot b is a scalar a cross b is a vector what about a dot b cross c which is a scalar quantity cyclic permutation if we apply say cyclic permutation then that value does not changes if we apply if we change any two vectors in the scalar triple product then that sign changes okay next dot and cross can be interchanged like how a dot b cross c equals to a cross b dot c right next two vectors are same in the scalar triple product two vectors are same in the scalar triple product then that value is zero okay next here we have the procedure to find the scalar triple product a vector b vector c vector then how to find a dot b cross c by using determinant method a that is a1 a2 a3 scalar components of the vector a next b b vector b1 b2 b3 b1 b2 b3 next c vector c1 c2 c3 c1 c2 c3 right next the last one we have last one last point that is a b and c are said to be coplanar if and only if a dot b cross c is zero okay right so these are the points belongs to scalar triple product okay next let us solve one problem based on the scalar triple product here we have the problem that uh, that problem is belongs to scalar triple product kindly observe find a dot b cross c we have to find the value a dot b cross c if the vectors are given a vector b vector and c vector how to find solution solution here we have to find a dot b cross c a dot b cross c equals to a dot b cross c equals to here we are going to use the determinant method determinant method here we have the vector a write down the scalar components of the vector a scalar components of the vector a is what 2 j component is 1 k component is 3 2 1 3 2 j component is 1 k component is 3 2 1 3 next here we have the vector b b vector components i component is minus 1 j component is 2 k component is 1 2 1 next c vector c vector scalar components of c vector 3 1 2 i component is 3 j component is 1 k component is 2 right once again a vector b vector c vector 2 1 3 2 1 3 okay next b vector minus 1 2 1 minus 1 2 1 next 3 1 2 3 1 2 
this one already we have been discussed in our previous class that is in this uh, in the cross product here there we got i j k i cap j k k cap here we have the numbers let us change plus minus plus plus minus plus that is equals to that is equals to plus first plus 2 into first write down 2 into plus 2 into next minus 1 minus 1 into next plus 3 into plus 3 into once again 2 into plus 2 2 into next minus 1 minus 1 into plus 3 into plus 3 into how to find this 2 you just see here we have 2 ok here we have 2 delete that corresponding row delete that corresponding row and corresponding column delete that corresponding row and corresponding column delete that corresponding row and corresponding column here we have 2 2 we have to delete this corresponding row we have to delete this corresponding row and corresponding column remaining is what we have to delete this corresponding row and corresponding column then 2 into 2 4 minus 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 into 1 is 1 okay next next we have minus 1 next we have minus 1 here we have minus 1 delete that corresponding row and uh, corresponding column like this delete that corresponding row and uh, corresponding column then minus 1 minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 1 into 3 is minus 3 minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 minus 1 into 3 is 3 then what we will get then what we will get delete this delete this corresponding row and corresponding column then we will get minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 minus 1 into 3 is 3 okay do not confuse this procedure already we have been learned in the cross product itself also we have been solved more problems regarding cross product okay next plus 3 into plus 3 into delete that corresponding row this one we want okay 3 we want plus 3 into delete that corresponding row and corresponding column delete that corresponding row and corresponding column minus 1 into plus 1 is minus 1 minus 2 into 3 is 6 once again once again minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 2 into 3 is 6 minus 6 like this ok minus 6 that is equals to once again once again I will explain plus 2 into plus 2 into minus 1 into minus 1 into plus 3 into plus 3 into next here in between the brackets in between the brackets 2 I want delete that corresponding row and corresponding column here 2 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 into 1 is 1 next minus 1 next here we have minus 1 delete that corresponding row and corresponding column 1 into minus 2 sorry minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 ok next plus 3 into plus 3 into minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 2 into 3 is 6 like this we are going to find the determinant value do not confuse in between these two numbers that common minus will be there this one already I told you in the last class itself in between these two numbers in between these two numbers that common minus will be there okay next 2 into 4 minus 1 is 3 next minus uh, minus 1 into minus 2 minus 3 is how much minus 5 next uh, plus 3 into minus 1 minus 6 is how much minus 7 that is equals to 2 3 is a 6 plus 5 minus 21 okay minus 21 that is equals to 6 plus 5 is how much 11 11 minus 11 minus 21 is how much 
11 minus 21 is how much? Minus 10. Okay, minus 10. Hence, it is the procedure to find the determinant. Uh, sorry, hence, it is the procedure to find the scalar triple product. You kindly note down one problem. That problem is homework. Kindly note down this problem. That problem is homework for you. Kindly do this uh, problem at your home. Find a dot b cross c. Find a dot b cross c. If a vector equals to i minus 2j plus 3k. Next b vector equals to 2i minus 3j plus k and c vector equals to 3i plus j minus 2k the it is a problem homework for you kindly do this problem at your home okay dear students i hope you understood well the concept of the scalar triple product it is the class for today in the next class we will discuss the problems more problems based on scalar triple product if you have any kind of doubts you can ask me through you can clear your doubts through the numbers provided in the college website thank you students